Hi, I'm LP, and you're watching Muzo TV. Your new album has got many flavors, from ballads to rock songs, uh, and, uh, well, even old school songs. And it sounds like freedom. <laughs> it does? Oh, wow. Yeah. What's, a, what's an old school song? <laughs> uh, Shaken. Oh, yeah, like an old timey song. Yeah. It yeah. has got the 70s vibe. I don't know why, but 70s, I can hear I, it. Oh, really? I felt like it was more 50s, but I don't know. For me, Is the 70s. 50s hit here in 70, the 70s? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the time difference. But it's a great song. Elvis was way. here in the 70s. <laughs> it's a great song, by oh, the way. Oh, cool. Thank you. Mm, for me, this album uh, sounds like freedom because I have got an impression that uh, you had the freedom to do whatever you wanted <laughs> with no one telling you this what to do. album sounds unchecked. It sounds like you just went awry amok um I don't, maybe yeah okay cool so you like it yeah i like it okay i like it a lot okay good do Sweet. you like it i love it i mean yeah i love it i mean i wouldn't have put it out if i didn't love it um but yeah i think it's um um it's got i i'm not really into writing the same song twice mm -hmm. you know if i don't have to you know i think everybody you've got like a lot of everybody's got a lot of uh you know um uh people have their sound you know mm -hmm. like i mean when i sing a song like you know all the songs have a thing because i'm singing them so i think that uh i feel like it's nice to just mix it up and and i'm just inspired by all different things like i never know uh what's going to come out of my mouth that day when i'm writing i just go with it Okay, uh, because I think that in a place like yours, after the hit single, after that hit record, many people feel the pressure to repeat that success. And what's the easiest way to repeat the success? To do the same thing once uh, again? Yeah, I guess, but I don't know how to do that. I, you know, it's like it's like trying to like write a hit every time. It it just I think it gets in the way of of what's uh, you know what can be even better or different or interesting you know um i don't i i think uh yeah there may be some pressure but i don't know i think i think this record um will be good enough to keep the fans i have and and see i don't know i hope we'll and see. get you new ones i hope i guess yeah like i'm trying you know i don't really have expectations i don't know what's gonna happen you know and i don't i think uh you know i'm just i've already got practically a second another record second another record ready to go you know so to me i just keep writing songs and i and i will and um i hope you know people like them i try so i don't think i want to put any pressure on this record and see you know and it's not like oh my god if you don't like these songs what am i gonna do and you know i'll just write more songs so it's not like resting on your laurels. Like I've got a hit single, I'm gonna rest. Uh, I'm gonna uh, tour for a few months and then rest and think about the future. There's You're no constantly. Rest. You don't rest. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not resting right now. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I just rested. Okay, I'm good. Okay, that's <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> that's great. Uh, what do you do not to uh, go crazy? Uh, I nothing. That's why I'm freaking crazy no, <laughs> i don't know um uh let's see i do yoga mm -hmm. um i meditate i read you know i just uh try not to take it too seriously you know but i i still get in those moods i mean i'm not you know i'm not a stuffed animal you know mm -hmm. <laughs> lucky oh, <me>. kids <laughs> i i get moody yeah and then i uh you know i get annoyed i you know drink mm -hmm. and do bad things no <laughs> I just like it, you know. I get I get weird with my mm -hmm. friends and uh, and or talk it out, and then I move on. Okay. And what about <laughs> <laughs> moving? Okay. It sounds so easy. It isn't it easier though? said than done. That's right, kids. It's really easy. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. But uh, what about the songs that you perform on stage? Uh, do you um, feel the emotions, the same emotions that mm. drove you to writing those songs when performing it, or is it just a, a thing mm. that you have to well distance yourself from? I mean, I think I, I do in the beginning sometimes when I haven't really uh, performed a song yet much, um, but then I kind of move on. It moves. It becomes like a different thing to me. And I'm, I'm usually, um, I'm in that place. I'm usually in the emotional place, but I don't go specific. And I kind of, I'm just like kind of there to like be the vehicle to get it to the people, you know, that mm -hmm. are at the show. 
Um, I don't feel uh, compelled to relive it necessarily, but um, I definitely feel the emotion of it. And then sometimes I do. Like I'll randomly be like, oh, shit, <laughs> this song's about this. Wow. Uh, and that's, you know, I mean, that's like nice at times, you know. But then, you know, sometimes I... I'm like thinking very much about the technical aspect of singing mm-hmm. the song to try to like make it as good as the record is for people. So, you know, because I always want to hear when I see a concert, I always kind of want to hear it just like the record. I want to hear the voice like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're you not, don't? Yeah. I you know, like what I would be like, is that lost on you? <laughs> is it? Seriously, is it? <laughs> you know, I'm going to talk to songs today. Sit down. Sit down, please. You know, I mean, I'm not rigid about it. I just mean that I'm, I'm like looking to um, make it as, um, I don't know. For me, I like to hear it like that, so I just try to. But um, I'm cool with mistakes. Mm-hmm. I've made a lot of mistakes. And no one let's, might let's notice. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about all the mistakes I've made. Do you go to many gigs yourself? When not uh, performing, of course, but I, as a fan or... A yeah, I do. Uh, I do for sure. But um, I feel like I I go to a lot of local people's mm-hmm. gigs. Um, my, uh, my lady likes to go to shows mm-hmm. at home, which is kind of sometimes I'm just like, I just got back from tour. I don't <laughs> think I can see like four bands this week. So I, I got to see like two and then let her go but i think uh yeah i think um it's nice to uh see local bands and stuff like that but i uh what's the last show i went to i went to see oh the last show i went to was um there's this cool punk band in from america right now called surfboard that mm-hmm. i really like and uh but it's um you know it's fun to see shows when i haven't been touring for a little bit but um you know when i in festivals and stuff i see so many shows that i get like okay so <laughs> uh, is there something like being tired uh, of uh, listening to music and after to for example you don't want to put on a record you don't want to go f- to a show nothing I mean, like that sometimes i guess yeah yeah definitely i need time i need quiet time and i don't i don't really you know I, so much music all the time that i just don't need to like i, I don't you know it's like my life is like geared around it so i'm mm-hmm. always seeing it so i don't think i even think about seeking it out like if i see someone i want to see or lauren wants to see somebody um i will make it happen you know get tickets or whatever you know but um yeah i don't really um you know like i just saw florence uh play because i i know them like is as my friend mm-hmm. and um so you know we saw them at the hollywood bowl the day i got home from tour <laughs> you know and it was just like but it was amazing you know and so fun um so like stuff like that's always happening so i feel like I'm good with it, you know, I just like, when I'm not, I don't, um, it's just part of my life. It's not the happiest of albums. <laughs> <laughs> Does that upset you? you, think uh, you do you no, think people will be upset no, that it's not you No, happy? because I think that uh, sad music is better yeah. than happy music. Oh, really? Sad songs yeah, I mean, I read a lot of sad songs. Lost on You was the saddest song of all time. <laughs> I was there, I know. <laughs> you know, I, I would have like, I'd be like fly in on a fucking rainbow every time I come in here, you know, like, woohoo, yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, things are sad. Uh, life is sad. Mm-hmm. Get a helmet, you know. I don't know. I think um, I think that's just what came together, you know. There is some, I think, is it not so, I think it's not so sad mm-hmm. as some of it's like ominous. There's some yes. ominous shit in here, right? So One I, might say so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just got some... Uh, You know what I, I've been saying, and one of the things that, um, and this is not tea. It's not tea. It's, what is it? So good. <laughs> don't buy me any. If you if you're watching this, please don't buy me any. Because <laughs> <laughs> we will give I you mean, some. No, no, no. <laughs> We will. No, don't really worry. Good. Don't worry. What was I babbling about? Uh, about the sad record. Oh, and sad, the sad songs. Oh, sad songs. Sad records. But I had a thing. Oh. I was saying that I was I've been saying that like this record reminds me of a lot of these songs remind me of when you're dreaming. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of dreams like that where I wake up and I'm like I I I remember some details at first but then I totally forget them by like midday. But I still have that ominous kind of anxious weird like uh put me in a strange mood, you know? And I think uh that's like Dreamcatcher the first song on the mm-hmm. record feels like it's the setup for that, you know? Like there's about to you know there's like 
witchy shit in the air, you know. But it's so annoying when you forget a dream. When you forget the yeah, details and you know only the I know that's why say, people do that whole exercise where they keep a pen and pad by their bed. You know? People do it? People do that. Yeah, that's that's what they say to do. If you want to re remember your dreams, keep a pen and a pad by your bed. But I always have to pee when I wake up, so I don't forget. <laughs> I'd be like Gosh. And you go back to sleep. Yeah, exactly. So no notes. <laughs> <laughs> no notes. Do you keep it secret sometimes uh, what or who the songs are about? I guess Do you so. tell the people uh, that you meet in everyday's life, for example, this song is about you or is it a secret? Uh, if they ask, I kind of, you know, I'll go, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> But yeah, like... Um, <clears throat> like this, there's a song called Special mm -hmm. on the record. Um, that's about my friend who was killed, um, like right around this time, two years ago. And uh, yeah, that song's for him. I I felt like I don't, you know, I can't force things. Like I can't force myself to write about anything. But this kind of just popped out, and I knew it was him, you know. Um, and uh, so that's you know that had been bothering me for a while. He was. Um, you know such a good friend and a musician and an actor and all this stuff and i just felt like uh i wanted to get a tattoo honoring mm -hmm. him but then i said you know what i'll get i'll write a song instead <laughs> and it's about him yeah yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. the last song on the record some people say that only if you um live a few years uh if you have got uh, experiences in life, sometimes rough experiences, you might mm -hmm. write something that is wise. Because without all mm -hmm. the experiences, you're just writing yeah. about fantasies. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's might be the case with some people. You know, like I, I feel like you can see through it, but there are, there are many times when people, um, you know, ha have very little life experience. I mean, it happens many times, that, right? You know, insanely poignant and um, insightful um songs so i don't know i don't i don't believe that theory but i do think that it's nice to have experiences mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> would you write a let's say dumb song would i write a dumb song yeah. i've written a ton of dumb songs <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, i don't know any of uh, them but well i mean uh, I don't. Is it a I crime to write really a song that doesn't uh, um, doesn't necessarily uh, bring um, something like deep lyrics or so on, but it's just fun for people? Yeah, I mean, I, I like songs like that. Um, I I wouldn't shy away from a song like that. I mean, I think uh, God, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of a dumb song. I don't want to insult anybody because mm -hmm. they might not think that. So let's song. call it a guilty like, pleasure. That's about my mom who passed away, and it's not done. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't. Uh, let's think about what? A uh, guilty pleasure, for example. A guilty pleasure. Yeah. Um, it's something you similar. know, like uh, a guilty pleasure. Um, uh, like Justin Bieber's song "Baby" back in the day. I was like, yeah, <laughs> and I was like, mm, 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 oh, yeah. I mean stuff like that. You never know. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. I love the tone of his voice. Then I like it now, but I, I it, that song was so cute. Uh, he threatens to retire. Oh, but what about um he <laughs> the retirement thing? Um, what about um that song back in the day that mm, Bob Diddy Bob Hanson? Mm, mm, yeah, they are back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a great song. But there was also a song by Crash Test Dummies in the nineties. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, with that guy's really low voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah, it. like shit like that is great. And what if you were to write a hit single? Someone told you, okay, if this is your task for today. Write a hit single. Well, would you Would you do it? Do I you would know try. the recipe? This is the thing. I'm like, I I'm trying to always write a hit single, and at the same time, not trying. I'm not like you know, like I think like that's the kiss of death. I think in writing, mm -hmm. you know, like I like if someone in the room. It gets too like, oh my god, this is a hit while we're writing. So I'm like, shh, Jesus. Of course we're trying to write it, you know, but don't say it yet. Let's just write the song because then I think that just gets in in for me in your head. I think you trying. I'm I'm just trying to get the, you know, the real, real, real. Um, just make it feel right mm -hmm. in my heart, you know, and just and write, you know, I love catchy stuff so i just try to make it catchy and 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 use my intuition as a songwriter to write parts and 
that are that feel like they are uh, worthy of repetition. That I want to sing again and again. That I want to hear again and again. That's just you know. But I don't. I don't know. Like you know. Like Lost on You again was like just this song that um, that was not i you know i got dropped from my label for it i told you guys this last time and it wasn't like you know it was very uh i had no idea like you know there were there were people that interviewed me that they're like you must have known when you wrote it i was like no i didn't i mean i knew it was good but i didn't know it was gonna be like a song that changed my life you know i had no idea um but uh yeah and when um i was writing it i felt very similar to a lot of songs i write don't you know i just kind of get in it that day and just go for it like i want it to be the best it can be but i don't you know and i think working with huge hit songwriters other ones you know that like people that i work with i um i really have um seen like the songs that they write that don't go anywhere you know like they're like there's like people that have written the biggest hits you've ever heard and then they have hundreds of songs that no one's ever heard because that's just how songwriting is. You don't, you know, you're not just, I mean, some people, yeah, can churn them out. Sure, I'm sure, but even they write songs that aren't, you know, big. So I think, I don't, I don't think that in my head. I just kind of write, you know, to write. It's, it's art to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how has your life changed since Last On You? Well, just, I mean, the touring has been nonstop, you know, I mean, and, uh, and just like, yeah, I just got, um, I don't feel like, I never feel like in a show, like people sing the lyrics to almost every song, you know, it feels very like, you know, they're like, like, you know, the records and the, and, you know, like me as in general, but, um, you know, Lost on You introduced me to a lot of people that I you never would have met, you know, so that was, it. it's life changing to connect with a bunch of new people and very humbling and awesome, you know, and I wasn't even like, I just didn't even have the, uh, the timing of it was like, I just didn't have the, um, what do they call that? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm spacing on the word, but, um, I just didn't have the visibility before, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's just like that song kind of, uh, broke things through, you know? Mm -hmm. It's nice. After uh, some time in the record business, in show business, uh, does it still surprise you that a song becomes a hit and, for example, something that you think might be a hit single, a huge hit, doesn't? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, it does surprise me. Um, and it's not just for me. I don't, mm -hmm. I even, I've seen it dozens of times with other writers, you know, I mean, other artists. You know, that's what almost like, you know, because I think when I first, like, was like people started coming around with, for me as an artist again i was like eh, again with the, you know they're like yes no yes no <laughs> you know like, it's very like kind of like you know the up <laughs> and every artist goes through that and whether they can stomach it or not is like you know the thing but um you know i just always think um as a writer i always said you're one song away you're one song away and i think you know um you know, I've said this many times before as well, that if you write a hit, everybody wants another hit. If you don't write a hit, everyone just wants a hit. So it's not like writing a hit lets you go like, ah, I wrote a hit. <laughs> I mean, maybe some people, you know, it's nice at first, but you know, you just keep like trying to write songs and just also put out records, you know? Like I had all this stuff I wanted to put out, so I'm putting out, we'll see if anyone likes it. Mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. I think people will. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, that's like the thing. Like, I, I feel, you know, many times when I was on stage in the last uh, three years or so in front of, like, very big crowds, I was sitting there, like, thinking, wow, I really have a responsibility to these people. I got to, like, you know, write some other, another record of good stuff and then another one, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, and it's a responsibility to myself as well. But, you know, I take it pretty seriously and, and – um, and it's just, I, I just can't not. It's like if I was on a desert island, that's, I would be doing that. I would hope I'd have a guitar and a ukulele there so I could play. <laughs> and the computer. I broke a string on the first hour of this <laughs> desert island I'm going to be on for 15 years. Damn it. <laughs> I just like travel. I, I always go on a boat with a bunch of strings and a guitar and a ukulele. Well, you never know. You never know. Anything can happen. 
Yeah. You wind up on an island. Life is full of surprises. Full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, uh, so it not only takes talent to to remain in this business and to be still recording and playing because, uh, well, you need to be stubborn, I guess. How many yeah. record deals have you had uh, in your life? Record deals? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so many. I mean, in the States, I've had like uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. Four majors and three indies. Yeah. And... um yeah and it's been like and all the major label ones were like a big deal like mm -hmm. the courting and they're like oh my god they're gonna be so great ah you know <laughs> it's like you're amazing you're the next you know and then it's just like yeah just don't i and they'd be like you have so many singles i can't believe it can't even choose and they'd be like you have nothing okay <laughs> <laughs> we just don't hear anything we don't hear you know like think like you wouldn't believe the things i've been told you know and um and I'm I'm proud to say I'm not bitter. I just kind of like I just know, and it's nice to know, you know. And I can I can really, you know, I feel like for my friends that are doing it, I feel like I'm the first person somebody calls when they get dropped <laughs> from a record deal. I just like bring, ah, oh, I'm so sorry, but it's great. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Fuck those guys, you know. It's, it's you're better without it. <laughs> get used to it yeah it might happen used, again yeah and i think that at the end of the day your perspective is so um great and you know i think i think it gets to the point where like no one can hurt you anymore because you're just like whatever dude <laughs> you know <laughs> okay you just have to go on because many people after being yeah. dropped for the first time think they that they have got no talent yeah. no chances yeah. and they start let's call it yeah, real then, jobs they yeah, come yeah. back to their lives but and then you know how about getting a hold of yourself and going like somebody never got a record deal you know like ever you know that's like this is hard it's hard stuff you know and people are constantly it's a um there's constant disappointments you know i think you know even even the talent shows you know that every like just had, they just had that mm -hmm. one and um and i think it's it teaches people that you know the like the disappointment and they think someone's gonna win or, or the people that are in the talent show also experience that and it's it's really hard like i can never do one of those like they asked me to do the voice like back in the day you mm -hmm. know and i was like no are you nuts no way it's so hard i admire the people that do that you know i'd be like listen i don't need somebody turning around in a chair to tell me i can sing <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. but yeah i mean you know people that do it that's brave 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 stuff you know and i i think it's uh and i think it's these shows um really show people how how hard it is you know mm -hmm. and at the same time you know it's like glorified in a way you know they, they want to do that it's the drama but um i don't know i think life is up and down man are there some things that you really love at uh when you think about your <laughs> <laughs> yes i guess when you think about your past when you think about your uh dreams as a musician uh, about your career or your thoughts about the business and uh, anything like that things i laugh at yeah oh gosh i think i laugh at um how uh fast things would go mm -hmm. all the time you know and 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 that it would be like it would like it would take just this one thing you know like and then and then bam <laughs> you know whereas and i i'm sure i know that some people's experience but very few that's the thing that's kind of hard is that i think that um that you know the point oh 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 one percent of of musicians and stuff and and uh pop stars and all that stuff that that does happen to that fairy tale thing gets so ingrained in the public's mind that um kids get involved in a career like that and and just are like that's what's gonna happen to me and then if it doesn't go down like that they're just like yeah didn't happen <laughs> you know, so I think that's a, I think that's a bit premature, you know. And I think it's, uh, I think there's work involved, you know. I, I also say this all the time about painters, you know. I think um, a painter, you know, a, a a person who becomes a famous painter doesn't sit and paint one painting and 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 wait. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, you should see it. Yeah, I'm a painter. Yeah, how many paintings you got? I, this, this one. It's great, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, they don't do that. Uh, that's to me what songwriting is it's just um, constant honing and um, you know crafting and 
I don't know, just trying to channel the emotion through the um, craft and the and whatever you can get it through to get it to get some magic to happen. It's magic. It's a, it's a, there's an element of magic, I think, in songwriting. And I think a lot of um, very huge songwriters would say that. You know, I think Paul McCartney has said that, basically, in not so many words. You know, he's like, it, there's something about it that's just like, you know, alchemy. And it happens, you know. Luckily for you, with songs, it's not as complicated as with painters because many of them have to die before that get, they get appreciated. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> still, though, I don't think. I think it was just you know. I think paint fumes were responsible uh -huh. for that back in the day. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I haven't. I I, I I I probably am not familiar enough with the art world at this point to know if there's modern day painters that pass away before you know and posthumously yeah, become famous. Many of them need to pass away before yeah, people recognize them. Yeah, many of them for them, sure. So. Back in the day. You know the whole Van Gogh. So thing. so yeah. So music is better in the terms, yeah. definitely better. But I just recently read um, because uh, they're making a movie about Van Gogh. Yeah. And um, they were saying how Van Gogh's. I don't know. I think I read something about Van Gogh's brother like worked really hard mm -hmm. for him, and that you know he was very ambitious. You know, like it was. Uh, I, I'll wait to see the movie. I'll wait. Let you see the movie as well. But you know, it's um, it's interesting how. The, the sacrifices that people make, you know? And uh, I'm reading, there's this woman, um, Lucia Berlin, that, that I'm just starting to read, that mm -hmm. um, also didn't um, live to see her fame. It's like 15 years later, and her writing started to become famous. And it's so interesting, you know, that um, that she could be writing, like, like, that's timing, that's what this is all about, you know? Like, what happens to... Um, why did people not come across her work before? You know, it just seems strange to me. Like, not it doesn't seem strange to me. I get it, but it just it's tragic and and interesting. You know that that happens with people's work, and that's why I feel like um, not that that would happen to me, but I feel very blessed to like be, um, you know, and I've been doing it for, um, you know, for over ten years. I've been making a cool living. At, at music so I can't you know and then this happened in the home stretch and I just like awesome you know I so uh, and and my perspective of it is so invaluable to me like I feel really lucky also for that that I just have the perspective to go whoa you know it it, it can happen and it can't and it and it doesn't happen there's mm -hmm. plenty of people like I feel like I'm living the like kind of the other like what if i <laughs> you know like <laughs> like cuz i when i left new york and moved to california i think that was a new beginning for me you know and if i hadn't done that i don't you know things would be so different and um and i always think about that i'm like cuz i was in a relationship in new york and and it wasn't bad it you know it was just like kind of plateaued and and it wasn't like you know i i think i just um i knew that if i didn't pursue my career even harder that in like you know ten years I would go like, oh man I should have I should have really gone for it because you know I did I did all this stuff to get just to where I was and then I kind of I don't know and just I think about that often and uh you know the what ifs are really really mm -hmm. deep. <laughs>